What's up guys, AFC Udinho, and uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be playing this uh, Clive Squad team once again. I'm just going to try and to get a couple of games. Uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Uh, like I mentioned before, I, I played this team on my alt account and I'm just going to take it to my main account and just play some games. My main account is, or my alt account is still around uh, 791. I haven't played on it ever since, but uh, it's still there. Uh, if you guys are interested in the team, you can check it out on Patreon. But uh, yeah, let's just focus on this. In game, we see double crown, member swine, and excadrill. Looks quite annoying, gotta say. Looks quite annoying. Um, I'm gonna start it off with the Suicun. Shadow, Shadow, Zerf, X. And I'm just gonna scald them immediately. I guess in this game I could have let it up with my Galate as well. But I, I've seen a bunch of people just start off with Zapdos too. It should still be fine, as I will be able to get off my Skull. And if I burn him, I will go directly into Zapdos. Do I burn him? We don't see a burn. Okay. So if we do use Scald against him, guys, um, Beer is gonna come in on next turn, and that might spell trouble. Opposed to, but if I go Zapdos, I won't accomplish much either. We just call there. I know Superior is gonna come in, but at least I get rid of this guy, and he won't be able to. Essentially, Rapid Spin my own rocks away, which might be nice in the face of Infernape and Zapdos. And yeah, as long as I keep Glasscore alive, I should be pretty, pretty decent. If I bring in Zapdos now, that's gonna hurt though. I'm gonna go Chansey, because I know I can get... I'm gonna Revenge Kill with Weevil. I'd rather keep Zapdos for now. He can also live Miss Leaf Storm, of course. This is doing 15. So it's not that much. I will Stealth Rock in his face, though. As he uses Sub. I can break this out with Seismic Toes. So I'll just get up my rocks. I'm just gonna Seismic Toes right here. Because this guy is a big threat. I'm gonna size Pictos again. Um, he's gonna knock me out here. But he used three Leaf Storms against me. I'm gonna start bringing in my Weavile. Because he's not in range of my. He's not in range of my Galade yet. Because essentially what I'm looking for is end game with Galade on Sacred Sword. So we're just gonna click Icicle Spear. I know Scissor's gonna come in. But he's gonna take a lot of damage here. Because I this is why I wanted the rocks up. Of course, I'm getting two hits. Uh, never lucky, never lucky. I'm gonna go Zapdos. And he's probably going to look to um go into Mamoswine on the U-turn. But I did get the damage up, and now we know this guy is banned as well. Going to roost first, and he reveals the choice scarf, so that's really important to note. Now oh, I definitely want to keep Suicune alive. So we're gonna get in Suicune now. And I'm going to double into the Weavile. Because he has to go superior. Um, it's really important to know that this is a Joy Scarf memo because I needed to. I needed to know that. But as long as I keep Suicune alive, uh, we're basically in an okay position. And I'm still gonna use Icicle Spear. 
Because even if I get to 1 HP with this guy, as long as I'm out of, out of stealth rock range, I will always be able to hit this. But if I remove this, it's going to open up Gliscor a bit. Plus Gallade as well. I could also try to pursue him, but it's going to be annoying if he stays in and clicks Claire. But with Icicle Spear, I damage whatever he brings in to me. I might actually lose to Zapdos, though. Not having JNC, but... Um, decides to go into the Mammoth Swine. I'm only getting off two hits. It's quite unfortunate. What are the odds of him going for the... For the Ice Attack here? Because I really want to bring in Gliscor. No Gallade is my win con. But since it's Substitute Superior, we definitely want to do something there. I'm already in a really bad position here. Gallade picks up a kill here. I have to speed tie with his memo though. It could still be jolly. But what, what are the odds that he goes for a nice attack here? I'll, I'll bring in Suicune. Worst case, I have to use Gallade later. Please go for the ice attack. Nope. Okay. Well, now I might have just lost. I might have actually just lost. <laughs> We'll see. This is why I thought about bringing in uh, the Gliscor onto him there, but um, yeah, obviously it didn't work out there. Again, I got two hits on his Mammoth Swine, which is really unfortunate, but yeah, this is the first Scarf Mammoth Swine I'm facing, man. Um, but at this point, Suicune is basically that way, and I'm going to lose to Icicle Spear at the end. So Gallade needs to be able to tank a hit. He misses Hurricane. He's faster than me as well. Um, unless you're Specs, I don't think that's going to kill. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it, whatever. Decides to go back into Memo. I will definitely protect here. And I have to let it come down to a speed tie, perhaps, with my Gallade. This is what I meant. If I, I was thinking about bringing in Gliscor. But on the other hand, I do have my Gallade as well. Um, if he's adamant, it's going to be a speed tie, but... If I get luck, if I get fortunate enough on the hits, I win the speed tie. Perfect. So then I have, then I'm in a pretty strong position right here. So he has to go Scizor. Okay, so if I go into my Glide score and he bullet punches me. Because we know he's Choice Bandit. With rocks up. Because my Glide score is at 100, but with the rocks up. Okay, so... I would essentially live too. But I won't knock him out with the bullet punch. I won't knock him out with the bullet punch. Against Gallade, I would live too. 
my Gallade is at how much? A rocks could a uh, bullet punch could essentially knock me out there. I'm gonna make the Gliscor play then. And it's gonna be a 50-50 here. So if I protect, I already revealed protect. And then Superior comes in. Will be in a hell. Oh. Is he if he's gonna do 40 to me, I get some recovery. 32. Forty-six. If he's gonna do 40 to me, I get some recovery instantly. Because I'm thinking about SDing here. Okay, let's say 60 and he's doing 40. To me, I'll be around 20 and have 30. Um, at level 50, bullet punch. To the last score. I need to make sure, guys. Forty six can be a roll. So I'll be SDing then. I won't be able to knock him out though. But he won't be able to sub. So he already used a bunch of leaf storms. Getting delayed and it's gonna be a roll. It's not a roll actually. I'm in range now of his attack. I will probably lose here then. Let's see, how can we still win this? He leaf stormed me on Chansey three times. He leaf stormed me on Weavile. I don't think I can win this game with uh, Galating, so I have to hope that... Oh, he, he switched to Dragon Pulse. I lost. Ah, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. It, it was really difficult, though. Um, perhaps what I could have done... That, the, the Scarf Memo kind of took me... Uh, the Scarf Memo kind of took me there, because because of the Scarf Memo, Lyscor was now suddenly slower than him. So I needed my Suicune, but I couldn't bring in my Glyscor on an 
on an ice type attack because he could have decided to ice attack me as well because my Suicune was already really low and he had rocks up. I think that would have been better for him if he went for the ice type attack because he has stick fed so I already do less damage with my Weavile. But he just went for Earthquake. Like, if you were to play against a really high, a high level player, then most of the times they would probably consider going for the Ice type attack as it hits my team better. Because Suicune, at that point, his superior was st still really healthy. So basically, what he could do, Icicle Spear, if I bring in my Suicune, then I, I take Rock's damage. And he weakens me, and then he gets a free uh, superior in. Uh, while getting damage off on my Suicune. <laughs> That's why I couldn't have gone into Gliscor, because had I gone Gliscor on Earthquake, obviously it work, it would work out, but it's not a consistent plan. Opposed to... Yeah, it's it's tough, because then I needed to make the right play on a Spear. I was hoping I could knock him out with Facade. Unfortunately, I couldn't. Unfortunately, I couldn't knock him out. But yeah, it's, it's really... The build, like, like I said... This that's why in those situations I like leading off with Gallade, because with Gallade I can I can punish the Excadrill, but I cannot punish the Excadrill with Zapdos, uh, unless Zapdos is faster, of course, than um, than the Excadrill. But then you're gonna lose out on a lot of bilk. Um, so Zapdos either has to be faster, which is something I might consider uh, running, because. I feel like I struggle a lot against the Excadrill matchup because it always seems to be able to get up rocks versus me because obviously on a Focus Sash um, because it's faster than uh, Zapdos and he can kind of just Rock Slide spam me and flinch me down on Zapdos. Um, but it is what it is. Yeah, I, I think I, in that game I really needed to play my Suicune better. So, in that sense, leading off with Suicune was probably not the right choice for me. But I'm just going to protect here. And we're just going to win this game with Gliscor, I think. Um, he obviously has that superior. But it's now I'm dealing with a Rocker, which most likely the Garchomp. And if that's a Stealth Rocker, then Gliscor basically get... If he tries to get up Rocks with Garchomp, I will... Set up with because what is he switching into Gliscor when I at the moment when I use facade, right? That's why I'm just going to protect there. I will just protect here and then uh, we're gonna start setting up. But anyway, they always they always send GG when they win, but <laughs> whenever I win, which most of the times, nothing, nothing, bro. Um, he U-turns. I'm just going to Facade in, in case he goes Rotom. Because obviously we don't know what kind of Rotom he is. So I want to see Leftovers first before I start doing anything with this Gliscorm. Yeah, okay. So it's the defensive Rotom. And we do see uh, the thing here. I will just go for... The Chansey, because Hydro Pump. I see it, I see it a lot. They're, they're going for the first Hydro. However, now I will just Stealth Rock up. Toxic can obviously be coming his way, so Scissor makes, may, makes way more sense here. And I'm going to go Gliscor first. Um, if it's Sword Sense, I can still pivot into Zapdos, but I don't want him U-turning into Guard Jump and get up Rocks for free. Basically, what I can do here, he's Life Orb Scissor, okay. So that's make, that makes it a bit, bit easier, because I'm weakening Rotom. Which is now going to come in at this amount of HP. And I'm actually going to utilize Gallade straight away, because now I'm going to throw off a Sacred Sword. I know he's wanna, he wants to defog at that, at that point. But I want to make sure that... Actually, I can Trick Air. Because Dermanitan is most likely on a Scarf. On the other hand, though, Gallade is able to... I'm going to Trick Air still. 
as it goes into superior not exactly what i wanted but i i don't think it's too bad actually so i will just throw off the sacred sword now well he's gonna leave storm spam at this point It's not necessarily good for me, though, being in this position. Zepdos is going to take him three. But knowing that his scissor is banded, I'm going to need this guy less, I think. So at this point, we're just going to roost them with a Zepdos. Because he can use four uh, Leaf Storms. Essentially now against my Zapdos. If he switches out, he's, he just lost a lot of PP there. So maybe he's going to pull through. But if he does, that means that the moment, at a certain moment, he's going to run out of those Leaf Storms. Because the second, after the next Leaf Storm, I'll be at full HP with this. And then I can basically Roost Spam, because the maximum amount of damage he's going to do is like 70, 80. But if I'm at full HP, that's not going to matter. So that's the 47. So he has two more Leaf Storms against my Zapdos. So now I'm just going to Bolt Switch. Because the next one is going to be plus 6. This is plus 4. So essentially now he used he used three against me. He has two more left, so I'm gonna go Gliscor because we know he's locked into Leaf Storm. And then I'm just gonna use Protect. And now he has one more Leaf Storm left. So we're getting in Chansey because I know for a fact that he doesn't knock my Chansey out from Phil, even at plus 6. And now he's basically gone. Um, here's the thing though, I, I, know Gal I know for a fact Galade is going to come in onto me. I don't think the HP is necessarily important on Chansey, so I'm just going to Stealth Rock. Because I want to see uh, first what kind of Galate we're facing here. Let's see, so Gliscor is kind of important in this one. Uh, his superior is without Leaf Storms, because we got basically rid of all his Leaf Storms. I just don't know if he has Ice Punch on this, but it would be really unlikely that he goes for the Ice Punch. So I'm get, I'm bringing in my Gliscor. I know I have a full HP Gliscor, but if he clicks Ice Punch like that, it's going to be crazy. 57, that's Life Orb, indeed. So I, I just needed to figure that out, and I can still protect with this, knowing that he's Life Orb. I know now Zapdos is going to outspeed him, and he cannot pressure my team with his superior anymore because superior is out of leaf storms he already used three against my zapdos and then he used one against my Gliscor, and then he used one against my chance so he's completely out and i can set uh, chancy on the next one so we're just gonna set chance here So he goes for the Psycho Cut. And since he is live, I'm pretty sure my Galate doesn't die to Shadow Sneak. I can go into my own Galate and just knock him out with Psycho Cut now. Because his superior is not a threat. 
Oh wait, did I- I used trick. I am so stupid, guys. Holy shit, I used trick. I, I might have just lost the game, guys. I'm not- I'm not kidding. Holy shit. I might have just lost the game. I completely forgot that I tricked his superior choice scarf. Oh my god. So I, so I would have just gone Weevil directly. Whatever. We'll just get rid of him. We know his... We know his scissors on a choice scarf. Uh, we know his scissors on a choice band. So I'm gonna go Zapdos directly because he's most likely looking to defog. If he doesn't defog, I still get to use Gliscor pretty well here. He misses Hydro. Um, that would have actually been fine because um, then I, I get the reset with my Weavile. But I will just Roost there. It's Will-O-Wisp as well, so that's fine. So essentially what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Volt Switch into Weavile. And we're just going to go for Night Slash. Because I assume he's going to defog here. Because if I remove Rotom, I actually have a chance with Suicune, now that his superior doesn't have Leaf Storms left. So we're just gonna Night Slash here. I think he's more, he feels more comfortable staying in here. Exactly. I actually get him Night Slash, but it's a high ratio crit move, but it... Basically what I try to aim for is putting him into Facade range. That was what I was trying to aim for. And now I was just Night Slash again, assuming he's just going to U-turn. So then I get that damage. And like I said, it would be really nice having a Gallade. Even though Gallade is slower than the majority of his team. Oh yeah, it was Life Orb Scissor. It was Life Orb Scissor. So, a few things I can do, but the, the thing I like most is going into this guy, so I can get off a of Protect, because um, I can easily bring in Suicune on Flare Blitz, there's no Sun Up. Plus, if he's Adamant Bandit or something, I'll get to find out right there. And I know my Gliscor is going to outspeed him here. <laughs> if he's Adamant Bandit. But if he's Adamant Scarfed, then Suicune should easily be able to deal with this. Just like I said, there's no Sun Up. And his Superior is on a Choice Scarfed. So. Yeah, so it's looking like Adamant Scarf. I'm just going to call my there, assuming Superior comes in or something. Actually goes Garchomp, which is the one I want to damage. And now knowing that he's most likely Scarf on Darmanitan, uh, that means that my Gliscor could essentially live a Flare Blitz. So we're just going to Ice Beam him here. Maybe he's going to look for a late game Stealth Rock, but that means he's going to die for it. But that was really stupid by me. He does Earthquake me. That's does a clean amount of damage, but I still get off my Ice Beam against him, so that's pretty nice. And now there's no Garchomp to block my Volt Switch. Like I said, Superior doesn't have any Leaf Storms left. And he decides to go Scizor, but that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Not sure why you go scissor like that. Maybe it's Jolly Scissor. Jolly Life Orb. <laughs> but he just gives me he just gives me a free kill. And like I said, Superior doesn't doesn't have any leaf storms. Because he used it three times on my Zapdos. 
And he's Joy Scarf, so I always get in my Zepdos. As he as he goes for Leech Sheet. He decides to forfeit. And we win this game. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna go for a bit of a longer video, guys. Because uh, we went one one on one on one. Um Yeah, like I said, guys, in the first game, I should have played my Suicune better, because Suicune needed to be there for Memos Fine. And I basically let it take free earthquake from his Excadrill. Um I think it was a mistake on his part to Earthquake first, because like I said, if I Scald Burn him there, he's essentially screwed. But uh, yeah, look, look at what we find here, Volcarona on a team. Um, I would have to say that my Glide score is pretty strong into him. So I want to make sure I have the Orb activated first. Um, obviously Terminator could be Smooth Rock. It could be his stealth rocker too. But I think I'm I'm kinda tempted to just earthquake here. Because I shouldn't die to Ice Beam or Ice Punch unless he's banded, but then he's not smooth rock. But huh. let me just do it. Cause I get to spam Psycho Cut. Yeah, he's Ice Fang, but like I said, um, Gliscor easily lives Ice Punch or Ice Fang. So now I just get the Earthquake again. And obviously he can switch out. I'm not going to overpredict. I'm not going to overpredict in, in that situation. But now we do need to heal this Rotom somehow, uh, this Gliscor somehow. So I'm just going to protect here, of course. He just goes for the Hydro. He's obviously leftovers. And I need to somehow heal my guy. I still have Suicune though to attack Excadrill. So we're gonna bring in Chansey now. If Excadrill ever comes in, we go directly into um, our, our Suicune. And I would just uh, start by getting up rocks. So I'm not, the reason I'm not clicking toxic is he has two poison immunities, and I just don't gain anything if he goes into one of them. Opposed to getting up rocks, because that's gonna force this Rotom to defog at a certain point. But especially uh, pressuring the Volcarona, of course, and the Tyranitar too. Because like I said, if Tyranitar is gone, I get to click S uh, Spam Psycho Cut with my Gallade. It's basically what I have to aim for. He actually goes for the will o -Wisp, so I'm not sure what's going on here. However, I'm going to Seismic Toes here first. Because I want to know if this is Defog. Because maybe he's not running Defog and then he runs rep Rapid Spin on Excadrill. If that's the case, then obviously... He's going to Volt Switch out of here. Um, if he does Defog, I get Seismic those damage off and then I can just Stealth Rock on the next turn. Exactly this. Exactly this. So let's see if he goes Excadrill. There's no there's no Sand up this time. How do I heal X, uh, How do I heal Gliscor down? I need to get it in on Volt Switches, I think. He actually goes to Renatar. Um, I don't think he dies though. Tyranitar has a lot of HP. But he used Ice Fang, so I'm not actually I'm actually not too worried. I'm gonna solve Boy Lair. Because he ice fanged on my glass core. If he was banded, I would have died too. That ice fang, so. I don't think he's banded, and without the choice band, I don't see myself dying here. Yep. Obviously, he could have crit me, but um, that's beside the point. 
Uh, maybe it was a bad play, actually. <laughs> it was it was actually a bad play of me uh, going for that, but... Now... The next... That's the burn for you guys. Um, gonna get in Gliscor now. I mean, he's just gonna do it again. And then I'm gonna use Facade onto him. Because I this is actually an opportunity to heal up. So I would just use Facade here. As Rodham comes in, he didn't defog last time. So we just get we'll just get off the damage. Get the healing and then we protect on the next one. I have to be extremely careful with Chansey now. It is debug, okay. It is debug. So we're gonna go Chansey now and hopefully he doesn't Volt Switch onto me. Uh, the good thing is we did heal Gliscor quite a bit, but I am really afraid of Volcarona now. <laughs> I don't I think I, I don't think I should have stayed in against the Tyranitar. But I was kind of disrespecting there. Luckily he just goes for Hydro Pump. And now I can get off my soft boil. Maybe I should just soft boil again uh, if he defogs. Just making sure that I keep this Chansey healthy enough. We did take two superpowers of Tyranitar. But I don't think that's going to matter in the long run. Um, I cannot make the same play again with the Gliscor because he does have that Ice Fang, like I said. But well, yeah, Tyranitar dies to a rock, so he kind of needs to debug. Tyranitar dies to anything on my team, to Zapdos as well. But the chance he is needed for Volcarona, so it was a really bad play staying in against the Tyranitar because, of course, he could have had superpower, um, even if he's not banded. Yeah, because if he crit me there, I just lose the game to Volcarona because then even a novice trainer noob can. Set up Quiver Dance once, and what do I do? Well, he goes for that play again. However, with this amount of HP, I do feel comfortable uh, checking the Volcarona, so I'm going to Toxic. For some reason, he doesn't want to make that play. Uh, maybe he does have that Rapid Spin, but he cannot get up the Sandstorm anymore. Okay, he actually gets, gets into Renatar to die. He cannot get up to Sand anymore for Excadrill. So that's a bit of a bonus. I will have to swap out now, though. At least depending on what he brings into me. Depending on what he brings into me. But I assume Excadrill comes in. He actually goes full Corona now. I don't think that's short play, but... Or he's gonna soft boil up. I wanna see if he uses a substitute there. Because if he uses a substitute there, that can be kinda awkward if when I'm burned, right? But uh, because he didn't substitute on the first turn, I am I am actually just gonna toxic here. Yeah, okay. So that's pretty okay. N not sure why he tr was trying this. Like, he needs to remove Chansey first before he can do that. But I haven't... I think I haven't shown... Well, I did show Toxic. I actually revealed Toxic. Like, what is he doing? So he's he's at plus two. He's gonna start soft boiling now. Hurricane, interesting. Trying to get the confusion. Oh, shit. It is happening, guys. It is happening. Well, I would just I would just seismic toast here, because the only reason I would need Chansey is for this. So if we trade air, that's completely fine. Uh, but yeah, I have the confusion pressure on me. He <laughs> even connected his hurricane, which is a bit sad, guys. It's a bit sad. I need a size to forfeit. Interesting. I'm going to end off the video, guys. Check out the team on Patreon. Like this video, subscribe. Hope to see you next time.